a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Free Scythe Free Scythe, in Satterland Frisian language 8 or 8, is a town in the district of Klopenburg, in Lower Saxony, Germany. It is situated on the River Seest, approximately northwest of Klopenburg, and southwest of Oldenburg. History Free Scythe shares a diverse culture in Lower Saxony history. Many cultural influences of German, Anglo-Saxon, Dutch, East Frisian, Danish, and Swedish culture are noticeable in the town and citizens. The town has a large following of Roman Catholicism and small percentages of Calvinism and Lutheranism. It was part of the Prussian Empire and also under rule to the French Empire in the 18th century. Second World War In April 1945, the town of Freescythe felt the full force of an attack by the 4th Canadian Division. Under General Christopher Vokes, most of the town's population of 4,000 moved out to the surrounding countryside on about April 11-12, 1945. The town was defended by some 200 paratroopers of Battalion Raba of the 7th German Parachute Division. These paratroopers repelled the first attack by the Lake Superior Regiment on April 13. The Lake Superior Regiment suffered two dead and 19 wounded. German casualties are not known. Vokes ordered the resumption of the attack the next day by the Argyll and Sutherland Highlanders of Canada commanded by Lieutenant Colonel Frederick E. Weigel. The attack went well, with the Argylls securing the town by 10.30 hours. However, at 8.30 a small number of German soldiers caught Weigel's tactical headquarters by surprise, killing Weigel and several other soldiers. Lieutenant Alan Earp survived a bullet through the head. Vokes ordered an immediate reprisal. A first-rate officer of mine, for whom I had a special regard and affection, and in whom I had a particular professional interest, because of his talent for command, was killed. Not merely killed, it was reported to me, but sniped in the back. According to Vokes, I summoned my GSO-1. Mac, I roared at him, I'm going, to raise that goddamn town. Units and soldiers of the Argyles had spontaneously begun the arson of Freescythe's revenge for the death of their colonel. But after Vokes issued his direct order, the town was systematically set on fire, with flamethrowers mounted on wasp carriers. The rubble was used to reinforce district roads for the division's tanks. According to German estimates, 85% to 90% of the town was destroyed, making it one of the most devastated towns in Germany at the time. Vokes commented that he had no feeling of remorse over the elimination of Freescythe. The Argyll and Sutherland Highlanders, and the Lake Superior Regiment were awarded the Battle Honor, Freescythe. 21st Century Freescythe has grown from a village to a small city and shares old traditional and modern style built buildings of German architecture, Bauhaus, Victorian style, Renaissance and Baroque style. Large multinational companies are settled giving the city a modern appearance and lively feeling. Hospital, schooling, bus and train service, health service are all available in the city center. The city has good communication and infrastructure, and many American Germans, Poles and Russians integrated into its population. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?